Okay. Mini Cash. 12th of February, 2021. I sincerely do pray for all of you. I mean, this is really getting ridiculous. But here we are, right? And then I saw this and I was prompted to share it with you. I mean, just think about what they're saying here. Oracle, which is, you know, a big giant tech company, right? Which also means, biblically speaking, the Oracle is the Holy of Holies. Just keep that in mind. To set up regional cloud center in Jerusalem. The cloud is what God appears in, in the Holy of Holies. These men are proclaiming themselves as gods. That's essentially what's happening here. And they're putting this thing deep underground. Look at how proud they are. We're so proud. It's funny how Israelis are such proud people. The tech giant Oracle said Tuesday it will set up a new data center in Jerusalem. 38 cloud regions. Interesting. 19 and 19. It's going to serve the government. It's all kinds of things. Deep underground in Jerusalem. Think about this. The center will provide advanced cloud. Okay, remember that the oracle is the holy of holies. The cloud is what God appears in. It's just such a blasphemous scenario here. And they're putting this deep underground in Jerusalem. Do you think anything else is going to be done here? <laughs> Seriously. I mean, this is where the blockchains of darkness will be all orchestrated from. This is going to be the center of the Internet of Things, the control center, if you will. This is more like an underground temple to the AI gods, their lair, if you will. Kind of like the T-Mobile commercial. So, just think about this, you guys. The Oracle, the Holy of Holies, man. And the oracles, the plural, is the word of God. And the cloud is what God appears in, in the Holy of Holies. I mean, you really have to understand the blasphemy going on here. And it's so in your face. The oracle, right? They just changed their logo not too long ago to this, which is just an oval, you would think, right? It's like this orange oval, plain, quite drab really but why did they change it because now they are part of this club that they are central in setting up this beast system digitally which will control everything isn't it interesting how their little oval here you know kind of like a racetrack if you just set a couple of circles look at what you get is isn't that just interesting the holy of holies to them I mean, this goes back to the garden, you guys. Back to Eve, Hava, the life giver, the first woman. Look at the number for Eve. 23 and then a backwards 23 because that's what the world is after they were thrown out of the garden, which is what these people think they're going to get back to without Jesus. They're going to try and go in another way. But meantime, they're going to take as many of you with them as possible. And they do that simply by keeping you from the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. You don't know him, you don't know the truth, and you do not have life. I mean, you guys really got to think about this. This is an amazing thing to me. I'll leave a link to it. Go over it, and I'm sure you'll glean some other things out of it. The cloud. What did God tell Noah? I set my bow in the cloud as a covenant with you, right? And they have desecrated the rainbow. They've desecrated, and now they're literally proclaiming themselves the oracles of God. They are appearing in the cloud in the oracle, deep underground in Jerusalem. Come on, you guys, seriously. Remember, though, behold, he cometh with clouds. Revelation 1-7, victory. I want to share more stuff with you guys. There's a lot of wackiness, as you know. It's like I just don't even want to deal with it anymore. It's just so ridiculous. But I love each and every one of you, and I want to share these things with you because we all need to know that exactly as Scripture tells us, 
exactly as it promises us, and everything we see proves it. Get into the Word of God and understand where you are at. And stay close to the Lord, I'm telling you. Seek Him every moment, because this is how close we are. Anyway, links in the description. God bless each and every one of you. Peace and grace to you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 